All right, we're ready to start put, assembling the telescope uh, now that you've got the lenses all finished. Uh, I've cleaned the lenses with Windex and they're all set to go. First thing we're going to do is follow the instructions and we're going to mount the eyepieces, which is really very straightforward. This is the two inch lens. You drop it in here. You take the cap and you put it on there. Now, as I say, depending on the weather, these things can be very stiff or not. Now what you want to do is make sure that you, the lens is seated properly. This does not want to seat properly. Stop a minute. Stop, stop, stop. No, I'll just, it's just easy okay. to go because I have to start up again. Oh, okay. All right. But this is good that they see. I mean, you know, there's always little things like this that happen yeah, with right. everything. There we go. Okay, good. Now, that, that, the lens, you see, will, will move around in there. What you got to do is make sure it's seated. Make sure your hands are clean so you can touch the lens. And as you get close to having it down in, see there's moisture on there humid today here in Arizona. Okay, that one's done. That's all you have to do. Make sure it's well seated. Now, we're going to do this later, but you should put two or three little beads of, of uh, Elmer's glue because even though right now the humidity is high here and so these are very tight uh, in Arizona and elsewhere as the weather changes, this cap can get loose. So you put two or three little beads of, of uh, glue, Elmer's glue on that. There's your first eyepiece all done. Second eyepiece, which is our one inch focal length. Same deal. That's the cap. Now see that one's quite loose. And we'll, but we'll glue these later. In fact, I'll glue this one now, wherever I put the glue. Make sure it's exactly where you want it, otherwise you have to start over. I'm going to just make dang sure. Okay, now just a couple little beads to ensure that things stay where they're supposed to. One, two. This way, if you need to get it out to clean it, you can just you know, pop those beads off and you're fine. So these eyepieces are basically done. I will glue this one later. So part of your telescope is done. Now, the next step is to prepare the draw tube. I already have one done for Ken's telescope. Uh, these are the rings, to, as you'll see, to put it in the main telescope. And as you can see, these slide very nicely in here. Okay. Uh, so we'll put it, uh, so we'll just tip it towards that oh. light a little bit. Yeah, that's good. Whoops. That is not right. All right. Okay, just leave it because uh, guess what? That made a mess of the, of the stuff here. Now, as we say in the manual, these eyepieces, because they're made of wood, may be loose because of the humidity being very low, or they may be very tight. If they're too tight, you'll have to sand them a little bit. If they're too loose, you'll have to put some scotch tape on them so that they fit properly. So anyway, eyepieces are basically done. Now. The next thing is to prepare this tube, and I have another one, and you can see there's this flange, uh, which we have to remove. So, where's my little saw? My little saw. Alright, just saw around it.
be sure you get exactly this one because the size of the tubes vary from different manufacturers a little bit and it's you know we've, we've made the eyepieces so they fit precisely in these tubes so if you can't get exactly this brand you would probably be okay Now, normally you shouldn't do this freehand. You should just have it down on a table or something. Yeah. And the cutting goes much faster. And Is that when you want to rotate this all the time? Yeah. Ken is the master woodman, not me. All right. Have it away. <laughs> That's okay. Almost through my, it. In my almost 60 years, I've learned uh, just a couple of things. <laughs> That's, That's all, though. All right, the next step, excuse me, is to file this a little bit clean. Whoops, no, actually. Yeah, file or, or, sand, or with rough sandpaper. Actually, both I yeah. use. Yeah. Now, these tubes, as you can see, have some raised uh, things on them. And you want to get rid of those two. I'll do that in a second. This is the end that's going inside the telescope. This is finished in terms of preparing the thing. Of course, keep it as clean as you can get it. Now, the next step is because this is very shiny in there, and if you didn't uh, make sure that that was blackened in one way or another, you would get a lot of internal reflections. What we do for this thing is you cut this piece of paper from a construction, construction type paper, paper yeah. about ten and a half inches long because you don't want the the eyepieces can't go on the paper so you see this is going to be leave about an inch and a half uh, for the eyepieces to go in the simplest way to do this is to take a dowel or a broomstick and wrap this around it and force it to make it into a cylinder by working it back and forth Now, I'm not, you'll have to put some glue in here, but I'm not going to in this case because we already have one. You slide that in with some glue, make sure it's flush like that, and it'll be fine. Then, this one's already done. And as I mentioned, there, there are these little, at least Rich. on the, this brand, Riches. little, uh, what do you call those things? Etiquettes or something. They need to be filed off too, otherwise they will catch on everything. Draw tube is basically done now. Now we're ready for the next step. You go through your manual. And that's making the main tube. So we okay. okay. All right, we're we're getting ready to start putting uh, the telescope together. I've pre-cut uh, the slot 
out of, if you want to call it a slot or whatever it is, strip out of the long tube. You'll have to read, obviously, the text to follow uh, up to this point. But I'm going to demonstrate how we cut the uh, uh, tubes to the right length. Now, I've already cut uh, the 131 inch tube properly. That's this one. Let me think here for a second. Yeah, that one's been trimmed. I took five inches off. This one we're taking uh, I think seven inches off and I will start out. Let me just show that. That's the uh, that calculation. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, right. Okay, now okay. as I say in the thing, in the text, you take a piece of newspaper which is nice and straight because you have to have something to uh, follow so you can cut these things nicely. So I've marked that at the right length. And you wrap this around until, whoops, making sure it doesn't crinkle. And then you get it to overlap. And then you see you'll have a very nice line to follow that will be quite accurate. Tape it down on both ends. And we say in there to use a box cutter or a single edge razor or a X-Acto knife. I'm fine, I've done all these. I'm finding that the uh, box cutter works very nicely. Now let me just check. Okay, so what you do very carefully and very lightly you score the thing. Don't try to cut through. If you do you'll make a mess. And you just rotate this along following the edge of the newspaper as accurately as you can. Okay, I've been once around. Now I'm back where I was. And you just apply a little more pressure. Don't try to do this in one rotation. See, that's getting deeper now. Now, obviously, when you're cutting this stuff, either with a box cutter or razor blade or an X-Acto knife, be very careful. You can easily slip doing this and cut yourself badly. I learned that as I was a kid making model airplanes. Many scars. All right, see every time you go around, that cut is getting deeper. And it's a very nice clean cut. This is the part of the inner tube. This is the shorter part of it. The longer part is this guy. Now we're getting to the point where we may start actually poking through. Yeah, we're poking through there. There we go. Now it's going fast. Don't be in a hurry on this, even though it's going fast now. All right, we almost got this segment off. Now again, as we say in the, in the text, you can either use this section or the other one that we cut off from the 31 inch tube to make the uh, dust cap. Okay, we've already got the dust cap, it's over here. So I'll just set this down. Now, what you're gonna have to do, you'll find out that when you open these tubes, there's always some, uh, uh, those rough spots. Rough spots, and that you need to sand or file them off. Otherwise, when you're trying to put the other parts together, uh, they will be in your way. So I use for both of these a little half round file. Now 
Now this this is going to be part of the inner tube, so it doesn't have to be as perfect as the stuff on the outer tube. Cut that part out. <laughs> no, no, we gotta leave it in there to show that this is what happens in real life. <laughs> with, with, when I do stuff, when you do stuff, uh, it's part of it. Now, okay. since this is part of the inner tube, I have to cut the three quarter inch strip out of it so that it'll slide into the outer tubes. And I've already cut that on the 37 inch segment. So, now, uh, the, again, be very careful. Start with a simple score. And then the second one about at least three quarters of an inch yeah. away. And personally, I don't recommend holding it like he's doing. Put it down on a table and then score and cut it. All right, now you just keep, just as we did, cutting the tube to length, just do a slightly de de deeper cut every time. Yeah, be careful. I've done this so many times, which is why you end up hurting yourself, thinking you can... Okay, now I've got the second score, which we already have. Now you see, even that, sometimes you'll miss. But it tends to follow the score pretty well. Whoops. This is actually the hardest part of all this. Now these cuts don't have to be neat. They are going to be inside your telescope. What you don't want, of course, is pieces hanging down into the light path. All right, let me just check this away. Now, as always, you should make sure that things are gonna fit. And you see, this is gonna slide nicely in there. Now, the next step is to put this guy in this tube. And as we say, we want to have this go in about two inches down from the front, which is where the, where the objective is going to be. And so we need to swab some glue two inches down. Now, one thing that you guys, okay. since I've lost my swab, I'm gonna make a new one. Uh, I say in the in the text you can use cotton cotton uh, balls, yeah. or, or in this case, I'm just using a, a paper towel type thing. All you want is something that will allow you to swab the the glue where you want it. And so I will take some. Masking tape. And away we go. Not, need not be fancy. Okay, now what we're going to do is use Elmer's glue. You can use Elmer's wood glue or I just have regular paper glue. And we are going to make sure I've got the right tube, the shorter one. I'm going to swab a ring down here, about two inches down, where this tube will come up to. But no closer, because we've got to be able to put the cell in here. So, first of all, I have to get a lot of glue on this guy. Okay, that should do for now. Now, be careful you do not get glue, whoops, stripping, 
on the tube before. Oh, I'm a little worried about that. Yeah, that thing is. That's too, too big. It's, it's too big. It's too big. Yeah, it's okay, way we're too gonna big. we're gonna yeah. make this a little smaller. Yeah, actually, like a lot smaller. Yeah, the one I had before was the right size. That's about the right size. Okay. There's the scissors over there. Yep. All right. Now we're cooking. Okay, now we shall do it again. Put a lot of glue on this thing. That's plenty. Being very careful, you do not get glue until you're down two inches, and then you do that. So there's a nice ring of glue in there. Okay. Yeah, We're gonna be using this some more. Okay. Now, the next thing is, we're going to put glue on this guy you're gonna to have to hold the back of it so you can't put it all the way. And you can't put it all the way to the front because you gotta squeeze this together. But smear a goodly amount of glue all around. Again, it doesn't have to be neat. Now, you gotta get this in fast because once this glue starts to set, it sets fast. Whoops. All right, we're we're going to put the ring in there. About 2 inches down. Now this putting this I'm going to put a little more in there. Putting this short segment down this tube is difficult because it has to go in so far from the other end. And once this thing starts to get to the glue, it sticks. So we're going to try and see if we can do it this way. Shove this in without any glue at this end. And then put some glue. See, this is, this is why it's good for this tube, because it makes it really strong. Put some glue here. Now I'm going to shove this in. Now I'm going to use the other one. As, let me let me wipe it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Except the time. The time is. This is critical. Every little okay. second. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to try to shove. That further in. Yeah, now put that down on the ground too. That the well, one I got it. No, I can't do that, Ken. Yeah. Ah, that's okay. gonna work. Okay. Now we can do that because okay. I can't. Okay, now this is just into the glue. There, yeah. we got it perfect. Okay, good. okay. That works. this guy comes out. This is the hardest part, getting this one right. Okay, this is the front piece, and we've got that glued in there, and it's gonna be pretty good, I think. All right, now the next step is to put the uh, first part of the mirror cell, I mean the, the, the lens cell in. This is the black piece that has the rim uh, receded here so we can have... Short, short on an angle. You can see yeah, the... Yeah, right. Okay. okay, there's two pieces, remember, for the cell. Both of them are black. This is the one you want. So what we do, we put a little bit of glue now. right at the very top here. That wasn't very much. All right, that should do it. Now, shove this guy in. Whoops, that's very loose. So I'm gonna put a lot more glue on there. You'll, you want it loose, but you don't want it that loose. All 
All right, in we go. All right. And leave it about three quarters of an inch out. And then we have to get rid of the extra glue. All right, now we're gonna have to let this set so it's completely glued. I gotta wipe this up. Stop it again. So, so um, okay. Okay, the dew cap. We already cut this off earlier. This is the dust cap. As I said, keep these uh, things there in the tubes. Uh, you don't have to put that in there now. To, we've got the second part of the uh, lens cell. You shove this in, but not all the way, because the idea here is very simple. When you slide this on, which I'm not going to do because that hasn't dried yet, you push it down and then this slides back the and then amount. puts pressure because your lens is going to be there. Now we'll, once this is dried, we'll put the lens in later, but I just want to show you how this is going to go. So now we're not ready to fix the back end of the telescope. And this is similar to what we've done before. We have the two. Okay. Okay, so we, we're ready uh, to make the back part of the outer tube. And again, you have to make sure that these are going to allow things to slide in easily. Okay, so making sure that these go in well. Now you see that one is a little stiffer than it should be. We've had some humidity too, which may have. That one goes in. All right, all right. Well, I wrote on these. It may just be the lip. That's the inner one. Let, let me make sure this is sanded down enough. It does take much of a of a little rim there. When they cut these and stuff, it isn't. It isn't perfect. Okay. All right, that'll that will work. If it's much tighter than that, you're going to be in trouble. Now we make take our swab, and again we go this time about four inches down for the inner of these two rings. And again, you want to avoid getting glue. Where you don't want it. That's about four inches. Let me put a little bit more. Should do. All right. Now that will slide down because there's no glue for a while. You slide it down, pushing it down with something until it's in the glue. A little bit further. I think it's in the glue. Let's push this down a little further. See, once it gets in that glue, it doesn't want to move much. It doesn't want to move at all. That's fine. Three or four inches. I still would like to get it down a little further. I put, put this thing on on here. Okay. Because, but then you're gonna. Yeah, wreck I know. The end. Well, you're not gonna wreck it that much. You can you can sand it. But you're not getting enough force it's that way. It's yeah. paper. Yeah, I know. Yeah. There we go. I think that did it. The end. Okay, it's. it's Oh, 
Okay, good enough. Okay. Now, then we do swab around the edge because we're putting the second of these in here. Hope that's enough. All right, and in we go. Okay, that one's easy. Just make it nice and flush. Yeah. And that is done. Now we'll let, let's just shut her off a little bit. We're going to let it dry. The okay. next step is to make sure everything is correct. So we the, we take the front piece and, and the other end from the uh, cell holder, the uh, lens cell, shove this in. Yeah, no, let's there's just, no glue. Let's show them throwing the crack. There's no yeah, glue. Okay. Go squish it together till it hits against the other piece. Now, let's see what I'm short. That's pretty long. Okay. Now, if this is if we've made all our calculations correct, this should slide down all the way and not hit the rings that we just put in there. If it does, then we have to trim a little off. There we go, see? Now we're perfect. Now what we're gonna do is check one more thing. We're going to put the lens in and the eyepiece, I may have to go get the eyepieces, and make sure that it's going to work. So stop a minute, Ken. I think your eyepieces are still on your tripod. Okay, right okay, okay. Okay, I'm filming. Okay, so we're going to test, before we glue these tubes together, we're going to make sure that everything is correct, just like we tested to see if the inner tube would go in properly. So you lay the lens in that recessed part, and then again, You've got the uh, well, you know, some, ring so that when you put this down, it will push against the lens and hold it in properly. Now we are going to take this outside first with the two inch lens, which will give 31 power. Make sure that it will focus. Perfect. Okay, we are set to go. Everything is the right length, and we can finish the telescope. So, next thing we take out the lens. Okay, okay, let's uh, let's just, let's just hold on, hold on. So, okay. now we know that the the measurements are correct, the focus is where it should be, etc. So, take everything apart again. Be very careful that you don't do something to the lens. Pull the draw tube out. It's already did. Okay, now pull it all apart. Now we're ready for the final gluing and assembly. So we start with the front piece, that's the back piece again. Now, first of all, I gotta measure and see how far it goes in. Yeah. Okay, let's just hold on. Just show that this is Oh that. yeah, this is this the is split that. one. Yeah, right. Okay, there's banging up against there. So what I'm gonna do is put glue. Ah, oops on this, and again, speed is important. Now, now I'm not putting the glue on there, but when you <laughs> shove this in, don't wait, because this glue isn't setting, but because it's moist, it adheres in a certain way. All right, now. Okay, squeeze this together to get it started. Dang it. Okay, 
In we go. Bingo, that's in. Now wipe off the excess. You might need to wipe off the whole tube eventually because <coughs> the glue gets on everything. Now we're going to do the back side. <coughs> we do the same thing. Now we put glue And you don't need to make it all the way to the end because as you see it's going the glue is going to get pushed up there. This come on. Okay. Now Sure you've got the right end. Okay, squeeze it together, slide it down, and away we go. There. All that has to happen now, you can check along the tube to make sure it is straight. Here, you stay there. Hold on, let me see. Uh, <laughs> that's very nice and straight. Yep. Okay. Very good. You might want to twist it a little bit back and forth. Wipe the excess off, and in principle, your telescope is done. All it has to do is dry. Overnight. No, it just takes a little while. And now, we can go ahead. And put the lens back in. Whoops, I got the wrong end. Now this has gotten dirt, stop it, and then I've got glue on this. I'll go okay. clean it. Well, that's okay. Now, how, how are you cleaning it? Just tell them. Oh, I tell them in there, not this I one. I know, with Windex. With Windex. Yeah, water and Windex. Okay, that's just. This is my lens, right? Yes. Okay. Would you I give you anything but the best? Yeah. Are you, you're just, are you sure you're not just saying that to pacify me? <laughs> okay. Now make sure you don't drop it, okay? Okay. Okay. Now again, very carefully dropping that down into the recess, then making sure that you're. The other part is going to be not too yeah. far in because you want the pressure to hold that in place. And again, if these things are too loose, put some tape, uh, uh, scotch tape on them. There is that. The draw tube in. Whoops, other end, remember, the end that goes in is the end with the black paper all the way to the end. This is the end where the eyepieces go, because the paper, mm -hmm. the black paper does not go all the way. All right, that is it. The telescope is done, and you can start observing with it once you've got the mount made. Okay, I'm gonna get a, let's get a long shot here. Okay, and we're going to put it in. We already now we'll, we'll kill it.